The Iranian army has unveiled its first underground air force base, called Akab 44, Eagle 44, which is capable of storing and operating various types of fighter jets, bombers and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Chairman of the Chiefs of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces, Major General Mohammad Bakari, and Major General Abdulrahim Massavi, the chief commander of the Iranian army, visited the underground base on Tuesday. Consisting of various sections, such as an alert area, command post, warplane hangars, repair and maintenance center, navigation and airport equipment, and fuel tanks, the tactical airbase can accommodate and prepare various aircraft, including fighter jets, bombers, and unmanned aerial vehicles, for missions. The large subterranean airbase can also receive the Air Force's new fighter jets and gear them up for missions, among other functions. Agab 44 is one of the several tactical underground bases of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIF, that has been constructed across the country in recent years, given the operational needs of the Air Force units and the civil defense requirements. Capable of accommodating the fighter jets in safe locations and equipping the planes with electronic warfare systems and various bombs and missiles, the underground bases allow for standoff aerial operations and extend the strategic range of attacks against distant targets. The IRIF had earlier unveiled an underground drone base dubbed Drone Base 313 a process that shows the Army has a comprehensive plan to establish subterranean bases in the aviation field. Speaking at the ceremony, Major General Abdulrahim Massavi said Akab 44 is one of the combined bases of the IRIF, meaning both manned and unmanned aircraft carry out missions from the tactical base. Stressing that the IRIF's equipment has been upgraded from tactical to strategic in accordance with the threats and type of missions, Misavi said the new weapons and equipment installed on the fighters are state-of-the-art and projected for possible engagement with strategic targets. The commander said such bases are of a reserve and support to the armed forces, and whenever the situation calls for these bases have the ability to do great things. These bases have created the possibility of necessary actions and reactions that enemies cannot expect in different areas Masavi added. Our bases, and of course some operational bases, will host all kinds of fighters in the future. On the sidelines of the unveiling ceremony, the long-range air-launched cruise missile SF was also showcased. The missile is equipped with a warhead that features a high destructive and explosive power and can destroy heavy fortifications. The Asef missile, which is manufactured by Iranian experts, is mounted on the Sukhoi 24 fighter jet. The Iranian armed forces have constructed underground bases over the recent decades. Back in March 2021, the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, built its first ever underground base or city to protect its missile units. On Reuters Iran revealed an underground air force base, called Eagle 44, and the first of its kind large enough to house fighter jets, the official Erna news agency said. The Eagle 44 base is capable of storing and operating fighter jets and drones, Erna said.
the report did not elaborate on the location of the base. Erna said it was one of the country's most important air force bases, built deep underground, housing fighters equipped with long-range cruise missiles. In May, Iran's army gave details about another underground base, which houses drones, as the country seeks to protect military assets from potential airstrikes by regional arch foe Israel. Any attack on Iran from our enemies, including Israel, will see a response from our many air force bases including Eagle 44, Iran's armed forces chief of staff Mohammad Bagheri told State TV. In addition, the air force base will allow the Iranian military to carry out surprise airborne operations, far from the expectations of the country's enemies, according to Tasnam News. The base was visited by a number of higher-ranking Iranian military officials, ahead of its official unveiling in Iran's state media outlets.